Hi guys, my name's John, and I've been meaning to make this video for the past like week now. Some of you may know from a previous video, which has now been taken down, that I was nominated for an award. Oh yeah, you were nominated for Queer of the Year. There's no way in hell you won that. Actually, I did win. What? You won it? Yes! Oh wow. I won Scene Magazine's Media Awards LGBT Young Person of the Year 2011! <laughs> Honestly though guys, I want to thank all you in YouTube land. Did you really just say YouTube land? Yes, I did just call it YouTube land. Oh, I can't get I feel like all my LGBT vlogs are the reason that I won. So thank you again. Honestly, thank you. You may not be able to see it because it's glass and it's all reflected, but it says a Scene Awards 2011 LGBT Young Person of the Year. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to put that down now. The night itself was amazing. Started off with a champagne reception. Complimentary, but I took a fair few. It was just full of people from all over Merseyside who were part of the LGBT community, as well as others who were just supporting us. It really put the LGBT community at the fore. It was brilliant. It was hosted by this performer called Em Brule, who is this big over the top She's not a drag queen as she is a woman, but she's got these really extravagant over the top outfits that were just spectacular to look at. Other entertainments included these three bears. <laughs> One of them sang the Bear Necessities, which was quite funny. And then they did like a strip tease, the three of them. <laughs> Memories. And then the House of Suarez did the big number, and it was spectacular. This guy was doing all these movements, and it was all like Vogue. <laughs> Then of course the awards! It was a good night for all LGBT people um, generally because it was putting the spotlight on us. Off the top of my head I can remember my friend Zara who's been trying to get seen on the music scene for nine years and finally got seen as producing an album and is going to be making a video soon. She won Inspirational Person of the Year and it's definitely deserved for what she's done. Business Person of the Year was Chris Stanks who at the age of 26 has his own business up and running and hosts all loads of websites I think. His company is called Cyberhost Pro so check that out if you're a big techno nerd which I'm not. Drag Queen of the Year was won by Marlene who's a big drag act in the Northwest. She works in the Masquerade in Liverpool City Centre but she also works, does things in Manchester and stuff like that. Bar of the Year was the Lisbon which has been around for God knows how long. Club of the Year was Navy Bar. The Charity of the Year was the Michael Corsa Foundation, which was definitely worth winning. It does unbelievable work, and Michael Corsa's parents should be very proud, definitely. There was the one downside of I got that drunk that I ended up losing my camera, which I'm never going to get over. <sighs> but yeah, um, till next year. That was an amazing night, and I'm looking forward to what, what's coming. I want to give a shout out to Josh Armstrong because I've been saying I'll do it for days and days and I keep not forgetting to, just not getting around to making a vlog to mention him in. So I'm doing it now. He loves to call me his nerd. Not, not quite sure what I think about that. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video on Five Empty Closets. Looking forward to being on that channel every Monday so please go and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time guys. Bye. The link to 5 Empty Closets will be in the description.